it was just a few weeks ago. I had already experienced two forms of, you know, two uh, people yelling at me or forms of street harassment that day in downtown Toronto. And I was um, going to my friend's place in Parkdale. I was going through my us usual procedures. Is my phone 10% charged? Do I have a sweater? Because in my own way, that makes me feel safer, if it's rational or not. Uh, are my, do I have my keys? So I have my keys handy just in case if I need to use it as a weapon. And then right before I left, my friend kind of jokingly said, why don't you take my, my uh, shopping bag? It has a little, you know, the ones with the two little wheels. And I looked at her and I said, what? What are you talking about? And she said, well, I've, you know, I've heard, she said, I've heard and I've tried this tactic that having this rolling shopping bag helps deter street harassment. So we started to laugh in this moment of like being so angry and also just being, thinking about how absurd it was that we had to go through all these procedures just for a 15 minute walk. And so I left the, the house and I, and I was, had my head down as I usually do at night. I, it's a physical, physical symbol of women's subordination is having your head down. So I had my eyes uh, down and I was walking towards the main street, which is King Street. As soon as I got there, I experienced violence twice at the exact same time. One man was yelling uh, very horrible, uh, misogynistic things from his car, and another man was standing a foot away from my face. I could feel the hotness of his breath on me. Um, I felt super unsafe. I was texting my friend, and I felt like I wanted to get out. So I got in the streetcar and I went home to my safe house. And what's important about this story is yes, I experienced those violence, that violence because of my gender. That's sexism right there every single day. But what's not being told about that story is how I have the privilege of being able to move out of those unsafe spaces. Whereas my friend who lives in Parkdale experiences those forms of violence much more frequently. And it's either in the morning or it's either in the evening when she's locking up her bike. It doesn't matter what she's wearing. Because she is a woman of color and because of the community that she's living in, she experiences violence in different ways than I experience violence. And so for me, when we're talking about these issues, I think it's so important that we center women's experiences and look at the intersection. So this is my way of calling all women and all people with power and privilege into the conversation and asking them not only to stand up against um, the fact that violence is morally and ethically wrong. I think we know that. I think we've come that far. The second part is actually stepping in as a bystander, as a witness, and stepping in and, and, and challenging all these forms of injustice when they happen.